Hello everyone. Today I'm working on my TH50PX80U uh, with an A suffix it looks like. And I had just replaced the A board and the TV is working just beautifully. But I noticed that on the power supply uh, this large capacitor here is uh, bulging at the top. I've laid a pencil across the top of it just to give you an idea on how pronounced the bulge is. It's really hard to shoot, to show using this uh, small camera that I have. But, you know, for example, if you set this, uh, if you set this uh, pencil across that capacitor, you can see it's, there's no bulging or anything, but this is uh, clearly bulging. Uh, may not show up very well on the camera, but as you can see, uh, with the pencil laid across it, it sort of tells you that the center is bulging. But the TV is working beautifully, and since I've replaced the A board, I thought, well, I might as well take care of this capacitor while I'm here. The problem is, it's almost in, I have not been able to find a replacement capacitor. This capacitor is rated uh, 1900 microfarads at 220 volts, and I've searched high and low, cannot find any 1900 microfarad 220 volt capacitors other than on uh, dead power supplies and uh, I'm not going to spend you know 40 bucks for a dead power supply just to salvage a capacitor so here's my plan I am going to try to install two 1000 microfarad capacitors and I've decided to go a little bit heavier on the voltage rating. I've decided to go up to 250 volts. So it's uh, you can easily go up to 250 volts. You can always go higher voltage than what was there. Uh, you just don't want to go lower capacitance. So these two capacitors combined will be 2,000 microfarads, whereas the original capacitor is 1,900. Um, and I think the capacitance tolerance, I think, is best I can determine. Most of the tolerances on these capacitors are typically plus or minus 20%. So uh, 2,000 microfarads, since we're going up a little bit, should not hurt the situation. I would, not def I would definitely not uh, go less than the 1,900 microfarads that was originally installed. Uh, so if you wanted to get clever about it, you could put a 1,000 mic and a 1,900 mic. But I just decided to put two 1,000 microfarad capacitors. I went with a fairly expensive capacitor. These happen to be, um, well, they're supposed to be... These are Cornell Dubliers, I believe. Yeah, CDMs. Uh, made, in, made in the USA, I believe. And uh, there are 1,000 microfarads each. Uh, rated 250 volts. Uh, also pay attention to the temperature rating. 105 degrees C is the absolute minimum you want to put in. So the, these, this capacity, the original was 105 degrees C. And my replacements that I'm going to put in are 105 degrees C. I haven't yet figured out whether I'm going to be able to get both of these on the board standing upright or whether I'm going to have to uh, zip tie one of the capacitors next to it or lay it down on, on its side. Um, haven't got that far yet, but uh, after I get the capacitors installed, I'll take some hot glue uh, just for extra measure and uh, call it a day. So we'll see how this goes. I like to take my uh, camera and take a picture of where all the screws and the plugs and everything go, but uh, most of it's pretty intuitive. So I've got all the plugs removed, all the screws removed. I'm going to pick up the board now, flip it over, and uh, see what kind of treat I'm in for. My modifications are done. So you can see this is one of the new capacitors here. It went right in the same spot as the old one. And here's the second one. I'm not going to be able to stand it up. But I am going to lay it down here. I'm going to put a piece of double-faced uh, foam tape underneath, and I'm going to zip tie it in place. On the back side here, you can see right here where my thumb is, or where I made the two connections for the capacitor. Uh, it's interesting that those two points are, as you would suspect, the, the capacitor is connected across uh, these two pins here, and across these two pins here. Uh, these feeds that board, and this one here feeds that board. And it makes sense that the power supply output, the filtered output, would be uh, directly across those uh, connections. 
So there are obviously other places you can connect that capacitor. You could have connected it across here. You could have connected it across here. But I wanted it to be able to work so that if I had to do some troubleshooting and you have to remove a plug, I didn't want a capacitor to be disconnected. So um, that's about it. I'll show you a picture of it with the zip tie in place after I go get my double face foam tape. So I have my uh, double face foam tape in place. I like to put it underneath on the bottom so that you can uh, read the capacitance values later. And uh, I got my zip tie and I'm going to fasten it right now. Well there it is. The two 1000 microfarad capacitors. One here, one here. And I think the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a little bit of hot melt underneath uh, to this capacitor just to give it some additional strength. Because I've got the double faced uh, foam tape under this, I think I'm, uh, I'm okay. One of the reasons I put that there is I wanted to raise this capacitor up a little bit. There's some bus wires that look like this running underneath somewhere pretty close to here. Just create a little bit of uh, distance. I think they're at ground potential, which is where the case of this capacitor, I believe, is at ground. Uh, but just, just as an additional precaution, I just uh, put that foam tape underneath to give it a little spacing, zip tied it in place. It's not going anywhere. Uh, you see the wires, I've sort of color coded them black for the negative and orange red for the positive. Now I'm ready to test it. Okay, I've plugged it in. The relays click. So let's power it up and uh, see what happens. No. There we go. So I'm running on over the air antenna right now. I'm not on cable. So, uh, you see, working great with the new uh, capacitors. So, if uh, this helped you out at all, give me a thumbs up, please. Thanks for watching and uh, good luck. It seems to be working great. So, here's an easy way to uh, replace a 1900 microfarad capacitor. Just replace it with two 1000 microfarad capacitors, 105 degrees C. I use 250 volts.